204 days. That's how long a North Little Rock Ukrainian woman was waiting to hear if her mother was still alive in that country. Well, she got that news. Gary Burton Jr. spoke with her about the days that she has been longing for. Yeah, we've been following Mar Marina Andrine's story of trying to connect with her mother since the beginning of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and thankfully that day has come. But even throughout this tough journey, she always looks to motivate others, and tonight she held her 47th motivational speaking event. Oh. Encouraging others. Maybe they'll spark a thought that you will use when you get home and continue living your beautiful lives. With a smile and positive attitude leaves many not knowing the pain Marina Amdream feels. I'm from Ukraine and I have not been able to hear from my mom in 204 days. Amdream lives in North Little Rock, but her mother lives in Ukraine. And since Russia's invasion of the country in February, she's been waiting to have this moment. Hello, Mama. Mama, скажи привет на камеру. Скажи всем привет. Да. Всем привет. Это твоя ждет на Ukraine. It felt like a miracle. Thousands of people, as you know, have died in Ukraine, but for some divine intervention, my mother is alive. The 204 days were as tough as you can imagine, as Ukraine was hit hard by Russia. I. Wanted to doubt. But she says she continued to walk through life denying the thought of negativity. I cannot control what's out there happening, but I can only control what's happening inside of me. And that's what her motivational speaking events are about. Tonight marks 340 speakers, over 47 events. You gotta be positive and grateful for what you do have. And now she knows she still has her mother. And her next step is to get her here. I definitely want to bring her to the United States and then live our happily ever after. And also, and Am Dream says that she will need to raise some money and work with the government immigration to get them to approve her mom's visa. Reporting in studio, I'm Gary Byrne Jr., KRK4 News.